This is another one of my short invention videos. Please take the time to look at my other videos regarding inventions. In a way, the first image I'm showing is a way to create gravi gravitational compression on the body using springs. NASA, on the other hand, uses rubber bands to create tensions for muscles and bone strength. For long journeys, the rubber is not going to last. The second image is the same, only a close-up of the leg area. Next is a way of protecting the astronauts from the sun's radiation by creating a magnetic field around the capsule. NASA claims that such a system would be too difficult because it would require too much power to operate. Both of these concepts I know I came up with long before I ever saw them mentioned by NASA. I still believe they are wrong and that such a system could easily be designed and operated. Next I show a comical way of constructing colostomy bags to make them look more enjoyable as compared to the basic bag they now use. Can you imagine images for young children like flowers for girls? My fifth idea here is a way of assisting people in the hospital or those in a nursing home by tethering them to the ceiling using a rail system and harness. It could be the distance between their bed to the water closet or whatever distance is needed. Walkers get in the way and do not support per se. The person still have to push himself up and even then they sometimes fall. The next image I'm showing is a steel tree belt with pockets for small explosives. The system could be used in tight areas or in situations where there is an emergency, like someone is pinned under a tree, uh, etc. Next is a similar idea, only this uses a blade powered by an explosive. No hydraulic, just a quick cut. This tool can be used by the fire department to cut a car door frame instantly versus bringing out the typical hydraulic jaws, which may not even work that day. Fireman tools are heavy and bulky. These tools, any man can carry them with ease. Can you imagine a burning car? Which is faster way of cutting the door or frame of a car? Next, I'd like to show you how to pour your next sidewalk when confronted by tree roots or tree planting in the future. The deep right angle next to the tree will cause its roots to grow downward instead of under the sidewalk, which ends up making for more future work. My next idea is a better way to hook up a gas or oil burning furnace. This idea came to me when I had one of these switch safety relays on the furnace fail to open, causing my house to near burn down had I not caught it in time. Normally, the building inspector looks for a safety switch that looks like a, any light switch at the entrance to the basement where most furnaces are kept. That's fine, but in my case I was at work and when I got home the house temperature inside was close to 100 degrees. Instead, what I use now is a dial thermostat that is used when you have electric heating. I set it to 70 degrees or so. That way, should a relay fail in the future on the heater, I have a backup safety switch at the basement entrance. Not only is it a switch, it also protects the system. Next, I'm showing how to build an extra room in your basement without anyone noticing. I show a typical house with a driveway on its left side. Like most driveways, they can be macadamed or concrete. Here's what you do. Dig down to your basement level on three sides as shown. If anyone asks, say you are making the footing for your driveway so it doesn't sink over time. Have the concrete delivery fill these three channels. Once hardened, pour your driveway over everything, making sure to reinforce the area considered its future roof. Once hardened, the next step is to break through your basement wall adjacent to the new addition and commence excavating the dirt. Simply dump the extra dirt in your backyard. It's that simple. 
Next is a boat with flotation wheels. It makes no sense to plow through the water when you can roll over it. The way boats are working today is similar to when men knew nothing about wheels and dragged everything as the American Indians did for centuries. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you can. See more at LarryAndJane.com.